Good morning, all of you affectionados of all things guitars. On this beautiful spring morning, I regale you with two heartwarming tales, both true. The first concerning the third of my great guitar heroes, third in line in history, the first being the great Martin Berry of Jethro Tull, the second Richie Blackmore of Deep Purple, the third being and surpassing the other two, the great Joe Perry of Aerosmith. And this tale concerns his wanderlust years after having left his original bandmates of Aerosmith um, and involving him in such diverse projects as the Joe Perry Project, which I also love, by the way. He did find himself in financial straits and sold his beloved tobacco sunburst Les Paul, thinking it lost to history, but a great tale in a, set, a generation past him of guitar slingers, the great and fearsome Slash, did find this Les Paul guitar and buy it, adding it to his considerable stable of Les Paul guitars. When Joe found out that his friend Slash had bought it, over the years he made numerous attempts at buying it back and was met with a very friendly but firm no. Baha, there was um, charitable um, meanderings a foot in that Slash waiting for the most opportune time at Joe Perry's 50th birthday party, did give this beloved Les Paul back to his friend, Joe Perry. <laughs> Brings me to tears, which then comes to my own story of a similar bent. When in 2001, having received a very wonderful gift I did buy myself my first real Gibson Les Paul guitar, a 2000 Les Paul standard. And um, I found myself a couple of years in the ministry wanting to help out a dear brother priest from Africa who came over all the way from Africa to serve our fair and beautiful beloved diocese. I wanted to help him get his first car, and so I gave him my car, but having to also come up with a, a down payment for my new guitar, I sold this beloved first real Les Paul to a very dear friend of mine. And it was a doubly um, vital giving and gift in that I had also named this guitar after my first um, and um, recognized head over heels puppy love of the first girl that I ever remember having a deep crush on in my early years of manhood. And so I named this Les Paul guitar, my first real Les Paul, Jennifer, for I had only before that time had immortalized her name in various oak trees um, with initials declaring my love for her and her name, her full name in one particular oak tree off of Wilkinson Creek on the northeast side of Torch Lake, Michigan. Well, Having parted with this car, fast forwarding to now, um, I was considering having built so many guitars, but buying um, and having a number of Les Paul copies, I was thinking about um, getting a new real Les Paul, but then I thought, hey, maybe I will approach my dear friend, Ad Gatsky, who by the way is um, one of the greatest lead guitarists that I've had the honor of jamming with, seeing if he would perchance be willing to part company with the said guitar 
And yes, he agreed. And my heart overflows with joy in that Jennifer has been reunited with my guitar family. And so um, great and joyous news in that I introduce to you Jennifer, my 2000 uh, Les Paul standard plain top. I fell in love with that wood grain immediately. Um, and so she has been virtually on all of these years since I parted company with her has rarely been played. And so she has weathered and aged so wonderfully and nicely, but is almost virtually brand new. And so I am so overjoyed to have her back. And I will be sending some sound clips very soon. Um, but I thank you for letting me regale you with these two tales of a similar heartwarming reuni reunification of beloved family members. Thank you, all you affectionados of all things guitar. And until the next time, God bless you and keep making music.